Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to simplify a radical using the ladder method. The ladder method is great if you struggle with your perfect squares. It's just a simpler way to simplify your radical and you're still going to get the same exact answer as if you were to use the perfect square method. Okay, so before I get started, the first thing I want to do is I want to list all of my prime numbers. So my prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. The reason why I'm listing these numbers are, is because those are the only numbers that I can divide by when I'm using the ladder method. And I'll explain what I mean. Okay, so let's get started and let's do the first example. So I want to simplify the square root of 40. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put 40 on my first step of my ladder. Then I want to look at my list of prime numbers that I just created. And then I'm gonna ask myself, out of these prime numbers, what is the smallest number that can go into 40? So out of 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13, which is the smallest number that I can divide by 40? Well, 40 is an even number, so that means the smallest number that I can divide by 40 would be 2. So I'm going to put that 2 in front of my 40. Then I'm going to divide 40 divided by 2. That would give me 20. So 20 would go below the 40 on the next step. Then I'm going to ask myself again, what is the smallest number that can go into 20? That would be 2 again. So then I would put a 2 in front of my 20. Then I'm going to do 20 divided by 2, which would give me 10. Smallest number that can go into 10 would be 2. So these are all even numbers so far. So that's why we've been using 2, because even numbers are divisible by 2. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of 10. Then I want to do 10 divided by 2, which would give me 5. Um, and then the smallest number that can go into 5, well, 5 is not an even number, so we cannot use 2. And 5 cannot be divided by 3 evenly, so the next option would be 5. 5 can divide by 5, and it would give us 1. So once I get to 1 at the bottom of my ladder, I am done. So 1 and done. Okay, so now... After I finish my ladder, the next step is to circle my pairs. Now, what I mean by that is any number that I see that is a pair, so this, that has two, I'm going to circle them. So I circled a pair of twos, and I left the two and the five by themselves because they do not have pairs. So these are lonesomes. These are going to be by themselves. Okay, so... <clears throat> After I've circled my pairs, the next thing I want to do is I want to bring down those pairs and merge them to just become one number. So because I have a pair of twos, those are just going to become one, two. So if I had a pair of fives, for example, those would merge to become one, five. If I had a pair of sevens, those would merge to become one seven. So whatever pairs you have are gonna merge to just become one of that number, okay? All right, so after I've merged my number to just become one two, that number always goes in front of the radical, okay? Now, what goes inside the radical? Well, the numbers that are by themselves are gonna go inside of the radical and they're going to be multiplying each other. So I'm going to be doing five times two. Okay. Um, and so that's really it. So just, a, just as a quick reminder, I am um, circling my pairs, bringing it down, merging it as one number. And then the lonesomes, the ones that do not have a partners, go inside the radical. And then my final step would just be to simplify this. So I'm going to keep my square root 2. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep my 2 in front of my radical. And then I'm just going to do 5 times 2, which equals 10. And then I am done. So 2 square root 10, or 2 radical 10, is my final answer. Okay? All right, so let's try another example. We're working with a slightly bigger number. 
but it's the same process. So my first step would be to put 72 at the top of my ladder, okay? Then I wanna ask myself the smallest number that goes into 72 would be two. Then I would divide 72 by two, which is 36. Okay, smallest number that goes into 36 is two. Oops, I wanna do that in yellow. Okay, so 36 divided by two would give me 18. 18 divided by two would give me, well, the smallest number that goes into 18 is two. So 18 divided by two would give me nine. Now, the smallest number that goes into nine would be three. Okay, nine divided by three would give me three. Smallest number that goes into three is three. Three divided by three would give me one. Okay, so the next step, so I'm done with my ladder and my next step would be to circle my pairs. So if you notice in this case, I have two pairs. I have a pair of twos and I have a pair of threes. So what I want to do is I wanna merge each of them and then multiply them together. So I'm gonna merge my twos to become just one two times, and then I'm gonna merge my threes to become just one three, okay? And so I have a two, wait, can't forget my radical. All right, so then I have a two that's by its lonesome, and so that two is just gonna be in the radical by itself, okay? Um, okay, so then the last thing I want to do is I want to simplify, so I'm gonna simplify two times three, which would give me six, bring down my radical, bring down my two, and that is my final answer, okay? All right, so let's move on to a third example. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so my third example is, would be three square root eight. Or you know what? I'm gonna use a different number because there's there are two threes next to each other and that can be confusing. So let's do two square root eight. All right. Sorry, that should be a 28. Three, two square root 28. Okay, got it. Okay, so if you notice, there's a two in front. That's different from our other examples. In our other examples, we only had the radicals. But in this example, we actually have a coefficient of two. Now, whenever you have a coefficient of two, you wanna put that coefficient to the side and come back to it later, okay? We're gonna use it later, we don't need it right now. We are just gonna focus on simplifying our radical like we've been doing. So um, I put 28 at the top step, then the smallest number that goes into 28, so still using my prime numbers, the smallest number that goes into 28 would be two. Then I want to do 28 divided by 2, which would give me 14. Then the smallest number that goes into 14 is 2. 14 divided by 2 would give me 7. Now the smallest number that goes into 7 would be 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so I'm done. Circle my pairs. All right, so I'm bringing that down to just become 1, 2. Okay, um, then I want to draw my radical, and then my seven, that's by its lonesome, is gonna go inside. Normally, we would be done, but don't forget, we have this two here, okay? We have this two here, and so what do we do with that two? We bring it down, and we multiply it by our new coefficient. So we're multiplying our old coefficient times our new coefficient. Um, so then I would just simplify this, which is two times two, which would give me four square root seven, which would be my final answer. Okay. All right, um, I'm gonna do one last example. Okay, so let's simplify five square root 75. So these are um, slightly larger numbers once again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this a three. Let's simplify three square root 75. So once again, we have a coefficient. 
We're gonna put that coefficient to the side and come back to it later. And we're gonna focus on simplifying 75. Okay, now the smallest number out of our prime numbers, so our list of prime numbers um, that goes into 75 would be five. Then we want to divide. 75 divided by five is, I'm sorry, the smallest number that goes into 75 is not five, it would be three. Three goes into 75 as well. So I'm gonna use three. So 75 divided by three would give me 25. Now the smallest number that goes into 25 would be five. And I'm gonna divide, 25 divided by five would give me five. Smallest number that goes into five would be five. Five divided by five is one, okay? So now I'm gonna circle my pairs, <clears throat> merge it down. They just become one five. Draw my radical. And then my lonesome number, my lonesome little three, goes inside. Okay, normally we would be done, but we have this coefficient here. We're going to bring it down, and we're going to multiply it by three, or multiply it by the five. That would give me 15 radical three. And that is it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.